Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the final episode of New pa Pantheon Academia for the year 2020. We're not going away, I promise you. This year's been hard enough. We're not going to have a, a random series finale after last week. Dramatic My pause scared me. I know, right? <laughs> and I was like, wow, telling us this way. Interesting enough. Yeah, yeah no, no. I just okay, to well. drop this ball right, right <laughs> now. Just... That's why we're crying today. Yeah, well, I was going to cry. Well, I was going to cry. Okay. <laughs> I've had enough tears for 2020. I don't need any more. What are you talking about? This year's been great. I can't say that with a straight face. Hi, I'm Stephen Pope, your professional hobbit, and I will be your uh, storyteller, game master, whatever you want to call me today. Let's go ahead and meet our table, starting with Aki. Hi, everybody. I am Aki, and I am playing Emancipation Brown, who has the guardian uh, anima... Ma'at, who is the goddess of truth, justice, and harmony. I'm the only guardian in the group, too. Yeah. Yeah, there, there's four types of uh, types. Only two types. The... There's only two types. Only two. Apparently, okay. according to this game, there are only according two types. According to this game, yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and throw it over to Kelly. Hi, I'm Kelly. Um, I am playing Iris Snow, and her divinity is... Kali, the goddess of death, time, beginning, end, everything. Um, and uh, that, you know, contrasts nightly with uh, Iris's fear filled lifestyle. So, yeah, she's the goddess she's, she's of everything, everything that Iris feels, fears. Yeah. 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 Uh, next up, we have Eric. Hello, everyone. Uh, I am playing Lennox Thatcher, uh, who is currently the host of the the goddess uh, Ninkasa, the Sumerian goddess of of beer and 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 revelry or something like that. Yeah. Beer and water kind of thing, partying the party god. So that that's that's Lennox. Nice. And last but certainly not least, Mika. Yo, what up? My name is Mika. <laughs> Uh, oh. I play Dahlia. <laughs> and you're here to say yeah. like <laughs> different. Did you go to like uh, some kind of workshop or something? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying out character acting. Uh, <laughs> I'm very method now. Uh, <laughs> I play Dahlia, who is a innocent little theater kid who never says no to anything. And her divinity is Persephone, who is the goddess of vegetation and also the wife of Hades and the queen of the underworld. Yes. So. Uh, before we get into it, we are going to go ahead and talk about our unlock tiers today because I am very excited to see them. So first up with our subscriber unlock, if we hit 25 subscribers, the players will get a bonus level up. Yes, we have ran this entire campaign at level one. And while we are planning for level two for, you know, part two, uh, if you unlock this, it will be level three and they will get a new divinity power. That's right. Whatever they can do right now. Lennox's ability to control water or turn into water, Manny's ability to always find the truth, they will get something new and better. So if we hit that, it will be cool. Next up on our money unlocks. At $60, we have rerolls for the table. This is the only way for the players to get rerolls in this campaign. I do not do subscriber uh, rerolls. Instead, if you subscribe, you, whatever your screen name is, and I will mispronounce it, Okay, like I've been, I've been doing this for five years now and I have not said a single person's screen name correctly. Okay, so be prepared for that. But you will be a student at North Point Academy. Uh, next up at 120, we have a performance piece. Uh, the Civil War and the Drama Club, spoilers, will all rely on Dahlia's ability to monologue. It's just bask in the glory of Mika's reaction there. Love it. Love it. At a, yes. At 180, uh, we will get a new club member for the school safety squad. Right now, <laughs> they consist of two people. The club is growing at an unprecedented rate. <laughs> it's growing, period. Like, <laughs> you've already had a 100% increase. I know. I mean, great. new bounds. Leaps and bounds, yes. Uh, at 240, 
uh, we will unlock the keys go crazy, the keys of divinity that Orpheus was able to uh, save last week. With well, you guys saved Orpheus, just kind of brought back. Uh, they will have some fun. Should be interesting. And finally, this is the one I'm so so excited about. At 300, we have oh hi dad. Yes, and we will kick off the first episode of 2021 with Parents Day at North Point Academy. Get to see what made this happen. Brings such joy to me, makes me happy. And last but certainly not least, our $500 tier. Sparkle, baby. You will unlock a special episode for uh, New Pantheon Academia where we will play, it'll still be over arms, but instead of being god kids with us, you know, not stands and not personas, you're all going to be magical warriors like Sailor Moon or Madoka Magica. Aki looks these. terrified and it makes we, me happy. We gotta hit these. Mandy I'm is not terrified exactly of this monologuing one. <laughs> but I will gladly do it to hit the other ones. To get yeah. Madoka, I mean, I'm yeah. like. Holy crap. My one goal in life is to be a magical girl. And this I is, just, this, is, this could magical, be my one opportunity. Like outfit transformation. Oh, a absolutely. Live my absolutely. Dream. Uh, just a quick thank you to uh, DJ Feng Shui, uh, Mr. Gunny and Modern Chow. And a uh, great sausage under heaven. Thank you for the bits. Now, that that Lenny... there is uh, no sausage, way Steven <laughs> Steven I'm so <laughs> bad at this Steven you added literally an entire new syllable I did <laughs> listen as the resonant dyslexic I he said great sausage and I looked at the name and I was like that checks too. out <laughs> I was I so I didn't look at the name and I was like gonna make a joke about how wrong. you had somehow mispronounced that, <laughs> and you did. I told you guys. I what's told amazing? You. What's amazing is that like I I think that this is a prime example of how how Stephen is too gay to function when he can see <laughs> sausage everywhere. <laughs> how dare you say things that are accurate and true? <laughs> how dare you? Going back to the, the Madoka Sailor Moon thing, can we all agree that Lenny would be Sailor Moon in this group? Like, really? Lenny would be the be one Lenny. that... I feel like Lenny would be the one, and then he'd be really confused. And then we'd mm. all be like, yeah. oh, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. He Honestly, I don't understand Madoka. why I'm wearing this skirt, but I feel like I'm, <laughs> I'm hella rocking it right now, so I'm down. You have, you have very nice legs. Oh, thank nice. you. Really nice legs. One of us would end up as tuxedo mask and we'd be like, why? <laughs> oh my gosh. Like you my know it would be done. no, it would be Dahlia and Dahlia would be like, but I don't have anything prepared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she would and love her rose. Done. She would love her that like, stupid rose. <laughs> my work here is done. And Lenny, you didn't do anything. You didn't actually like do anything. Do anything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a whole like 45 minute dance number with the rose and then leaves. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's the game. That's the game. <laughs> All right. So we are going to start out on the football field. Class has wrapped for the day at North Point Academy. And Lenny, you are in practice. Go ahead and give me a strength roll. All right. Strength. I'm pretty We're looking strong. For at least a six here. Oh, okay. Let's see how well I do. Uh, will a two do it? No, that's okay. a failure. I roll a two on a D12. That that's... is, that's fantastic. Yeah. That is amazing. Uh, you have the wind knocked out of you as oh. you just hit the training dummy wrong and you go flying and everyone, everyone on the field has a good chuckle at your expense great for the ego huh. that's that's fun yeah 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 Man, i really messed that one up <sighs> um I'm, 
Uh, and secretly, like, he's like, oh, I really messed that one up. And then when he's turning, uh, he, like, turns away when he thinks nobody's watching. He's like, idiot, idiot. Yeah, that's when uh, Brendan comes up and kind of pushes pushes you in the back. Hey. Oh, hey. <laughs> you okay? Uh, yeah, no, I'm sorry I messed that up so bad. I'll do, uh, I'm definitely. Dude, it's like, practice. I'm no, one do, cares. no, no, I got to do it again. I gotta do it again. Hold on. I'm gonna do it again. All right. All right. Uh, go ahead and give me a strength roll. Okay. Uh, three. Damn it. All right. Um, this time your cleats just get stuck in some mud and you just face plan. No one seems to notice. And Brenda's just kind of saying over you and extends a hand. Uh, get, you need a hand, bud? No, no. I I, I need to learn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do hit it again. You know how to do this. You just push. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. yeah. I know. Thing. I know. You're I, fine. I, I, like, I'll stop. I'll stop screwing up. I promise. You're you're not screwing up. I got up, another man. two. Oh, oh uh, Lenny's just not having a good day. Lenny is not having a good day. Um, I actually feel like a condition might be necessary at this <laughs> point. Is that fair? Okay. Am I being mean? Yeah. No. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and give you the condition silence. Hmm. All right, so you have silence five. Uh, basically, if you roll charisma and you get under a five, it's an uh, automatic fail. <laughs> Brendan uh, come, helps you up and he's like, dude, like practice is almost over. No one cares. They're fine. Like, no, it's fine. Yeah. All right, man. Uh, I'm going to hit the showers. Uh, you, you good? Yeah. All right. Uh, as the team leaves the field, uh, Lenny, what do you do? Uh, he, he goes again. Oh! <laughs> Try it again. Uh, let's roll on the thing. Nine. Okay, that is it. You managed to push that thing the way uh, you're supposed to. I don't even know what fo- I don't even know what position you play. He would be quarterback, so it would be it would be more. I imagine what he'd probably be doing is they have like the the like he's supposed to take the ball and run through like a series of like things that like like knock over these like pylons and stuff mm-hmm. like that that are like supposed to simulate like someone trying to stop him. And he keeps that getting knocked sense. over. Yeah. Well, you managed to do it, and no one's there to see it. Uh, Sir Beast twelve sixty nine. Thank you for the. Subscription, and I actually said your name right. Ha ha ha! First time for everything. All right, Lenny. With that accomplished, uh, you, what do you do next? Uh, he's he's he goes off to the to shower and get changed. All right. As you're getting changed, uh, you hear your cell phone going off in your locker. Oh, it's time. Uh, he picks it up. Hello. Uh, hi, hi, uh, Le- Lennox, Lennox. Yeah, speaking. Uh, it, it's Sue. You oh. recognize it. Uh, Sue is your father's secretary. Oh, hey, how's You've it going? Her for what, most what, of your life. What is her last name? Oh, uh, your father insists you call her Sue, but her last name is Carlisle. Oh, if 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 his father insists he calls her Sue, he will be like, "Hello, Sue." Hi, hi, Lennox. Hi. Um, h- how was school? School is fine. Uh, uh, my grades are, are maintaining and, uh, I, I'm, uh, practice, I am maintaining my skills as the quarterback. Oh, good, good. I'm really glad to hear that. Uh, you, um, listen, your dad doesn't know I'm calling you right now. Um, uh, okay. Uh, now before I say anything, he's fine. He's fine. The doctor cleared him. It's just some bruising, but your dad was in a car accident. Oh. Oh, snap. Yeah. Um, he insists I don't he insists I didn't tell you, but I, you know, he's your father, you're his son. I I didn't feel right not doing that. Okay. Yeah, I no, I appreciate you uh letting me know. Yeah. Um, like I said, he's fine. He's fine. Uh he's gonna have some slight bruising. Uh, you know, he uh Took a left turn without looking because he never takes his goddamn left turns without looking, but he's okay. 
Uh, are you okay? Yeah, I I am I'm doing fine. How how are you? You know, it's I'm fine, Lenny. That's great. Um do you want to talk at all or um uh about what? Okay, Lenny. Um, I'm sorry, I'm Lennox. I'll. No, that's fine. You can, you can call me Lenny. Most people do. I'll talk to you later. Okay, Lennox. Um, just uh, you know, take care, please. Okay, and you as well. Thank you. It's at this point. Uh, you're divinity starts talking and for the first time she's not laughing <laughs> oh my god yeah party so foul that. what not you him oh them oh cuz he cuz he didn't want me to know yeah, it's fine. There's a lot of things he doesn't tell me. Goodness. Oh, Lord. Okay. We're having a party tonight. I don't know how. We're figuring that out. Oh, uh, I mean, I'm kind of beat from practice and like, you know, I don't want to, you know, I want to get, you know, sleep and I, I feel like, like I messed up so bad today. I should do a double tomorrow and, you know. Okay, sweetheart. And with that, we cut away from the locker room to the front of the school auditorium. Manny, uh, I have good news and bad news for you, Manny. Hey. Bad news. Uh-huh. Uh, Let's see, hold up, here we go. The bad news is Zafrin on the, on the cheer squad, she twisted her ankle yesterday. She's okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah no, she tried to, you know, jump into a backflip into a split and the knee didn't go right. And somehow they twisted her ankle, don't worry about it. No. But Zafrin, but Zarfin, sorry, it's really hard to remember her. It's not that our name is hard to remember. It's just, I, uh, I'm dyslexic. Um, so that's the bad news. The good news is they need you to learn the dance for tomorrow. Me? Yes, you. Your time has come, Manny. I get to do the dance? Oh, you got to do the dance. As you wait outside the uh, school auditorium, uh, you see as Ben Pendleton comes rushing up, uh, he's out of breath because he had to run from one meeting to the next to here. <sighs> hey, hey, Manny, sorry I'm late. Hey, how are you? I get to do the dance. Yeah, yeah, that's why I'm here. I'm, I'm supposed to, I, I choreographed the thing. I'm supposed to teach you it. Uh, we, we got the auditorium, so this should be good. This should be good. Whew. He pulls out a Gatorade and just kind of downs the whole thing in three gulps. <laughs> you okay? Yeah, no, um, well, I had to, well, okay, so I had football practice, and then I had to go get the, uh, right DVDs for the anime club, because they're currently having this big fight about, like, no, we can only do dubs! No, we can only do subs! And it's a whole thing way out of my pay range. And, and then I had to get here really fast, but I'm here now. <sighs> okay. Yeah, all right. So, uh, do, do you uh, know the dance? I, I know you like to do your little shimmy practice to the side. Uh, you remember the, do you know like a lot of the footwork or how, I just wanna know like how much I'm gonna have to go over with you on this. I, I, I can show you. I, I can show you. Cool, cool. We'll do that once we're inside. 
Um, he opens up the doors of the auditorium and there's a roar inside. It is screaming. It is madness. It is people quoting Shakespeare poorly and yelling rent lyrics at each other. Dahlia, how long has this argument been going on now in the drama club? Oh, gosh. Time is just a construct at this point. <laughs> it could be hours. It could be days. It could be minutes, you know? Mm -hmm. Probably all day if we have to put a number on it. It has certainly, certainly felt like it. Uh, Christina, uh, the president of the drama club, leads her pack as Xander Carlisle, the member of the kind of drama club rebels, are arguing about this production. And even though you only had the auditorium for about an hour, three hours later, you're still here. Xander throws down his original script. You don't know anything, and Oklahoma is a old bag of wet cement from the 50s. We do not need to celebrate this. We need to celebrate new art. Um, Xander, if, if you'll allow me to interject, it's, it's a historical piece, and we should really respect the, the foundations that musical theater was built upon. If we're going to do that, then we should be doing something like Carousel. Um. And Dahlia, what, what gives? I. He opens up the script and he shoves it towards you. There is a three-page monologue highlighted next to it in note for Dahlia. I wrote the part for you. I know. I know. I've been um. I've been practicing it. It's not quite ready yet. Um, Christina I gasped. You've been practicing his monologue? I thought you were on my side. Um, I practice everything, Christina. I practice everything. I commit myself to many different things. You can't practice his work. You always have to be prepared for anything in theater. You know that, Christina. <gasps> you know that. It's, I've never been so betrayed. I Christina, say, no, look at me. Look once. at me. I know. Well, thank you. You know what they say. The show must go on. Even if you lose, you... You still have to commit to this. I'm... Just like me. I'm aware of that. But having... Doing Xander's part. And there comes the waterworks. I've, and Xander I've, is screaming. Well, and Manny, you don't know what's going on. But I've also memorized your monologue too, Christina. You don't have a Why? monologue in Oklahoma. They don't have monologues Why? in Oklahoma. No, the Why? Hamilton one. Why are you just doing both? It's not like we can't afford it. Everyone comes to a screeching halt. The yelling stops as they turn to look at Manny and Ben. Manny, you're just in time. Um, maybe Adalia, we should, maybe we should grab some fresh air. Oh. Did I, I say think that'd be for wrong? the best. Yeah, let's I take a quick five. Uh, everyone, you know, go grab a snack from from the green room? Uh, Dahlia, go ahead and give me a charisma roll real fast. We're looking for a seven. All right. Oh, I got a 12, I got a, a nat 12. Oh, goodness, yes, okay. They are, the fighting calms down as everyone goes to Crafty because there's nothing on this planet Cheetos and room temperature bottled water can't fix. That's the first time they've ever listened to me, Manny. That's the first time they haven't told me to go backstage, work on that set piece, make yourself useful. I think that means that you're starting to make an impact. Yeah, this doesn't so. surprise me. This is really my year. Maybe, maybe I'll get the lead. It's maybe. at this point Ben comes up. Uh, yeah, no, great, great. What is happening? Um. It you wouldn't get it unless you were in the theater club trust me <laughs> I tried it wouldn't let me join four clubs wait you're in four you're, what I'm only in three if I could I'd be in four well actually if I could I'd be in five but apparently uh, I thought 
that you had to commit yourself to one and only do that one and you could never quit it and you could only put all of your time towards one club. That seems silly to me. Besides, you're in two. You're in two? <laughs> Theater club. What's the second one? Manny uh, trying to communicate through the language of face journeys. Go ahead and give me a charisma roll. Me? Oh, That's you. Here we go. Does it start with a P? <laughs> oh, a nine out of 10. <laughs> Dahlia, you're pretty sure Manny is talking about uh, the Phantom Queen Research Society or whatever you guys have named yourself. Right, yes, I am in two. I have been splitting my time. Exactly, yes. You're right, Manny. I am? I, yes, I've spread myself among many hobbies. <laughs> you have? I have. Well, it is the only way to be like a well-rounded person in my opinion, though I do wish people could schedule times better. I'm getting really good at running across campus though. Like I could do it in like, Three minutes. She you need to give campus. yourself a cramp at some point, Ben. Oh, I have had so many cramps. Yeah, you, you know that uh, you know that patch of uh, dead grass in front of the science building. That's kind of where I ate shit and kind of lied there for like two hours. I think I might have fallen asleep, or was it passing out? Either way, you should get a skateboard or something a little more easy, like a scooter. The color drains from his face at when you mention a scooter. Never again. Never again. Oh. No. Never again. Are you all still supposed to be here? Me? Yeah. Drama club. Because I think I'm supposed to be having a rehearsal right now. Probably, um, we got into a little bit of a fight and we've been arguing. We haven't even rehearsed anything today because um, Christina was saying we need to do one thing and everyone else was saying we need to do another. And I, we don't really have a teacher that's like present, you know? There is a teacher who's technically in charge of the drama department, but uh, listen, I'm not saying he peaked at when he did a touring production of Spamalot in the early aughts, but he kind of peaked when he did a touring production of Spamalot oh. in the early aughts. Well, why, why, why don't you uh, use the the power of Dionysus to help you? Power of Dionysus. Yes, the internal power of of the god of theater. Yes. Uh, yes, I I have that within me um i don't know i didn't i didn't think of it i i'd left that one at home you know you left you left your power at home but your power is always inside of you well you know how you're getting ready for the day and you decide what like character you want to bring with you for that day <laughs> i picked not dionysus today this is the best conversation about how I left my super weapon at home. <laughs> this is the character I choose to play every day. Oh, how I wish life was that simple. I didn't even know I had a choice. Oh, yeah, it's called method acting. Isn't that the thing where you cry a lot and you forget your lines? Method acting. Method no. Method acting. It's method where you are acting. always who you are supposed method to be acting. on screen or stage. Method acting. <laughs> method acting. As Manny method devolves acting. into method acting, <laughs> uh, Ben picks up the script uh, that Xander had shoved to you, Dahlia. The Wicker Man, the musical. Oh, this is not school appropriate. <laughs> Why not? What is the Wicker Man? Oh, it's just like, I think it's a movie, but uh, yeah, they sh so uh, they take a guy and put him in a bear suit and then throw bees on him and then throw him in a giant wicker thing and light that on fire. Yeah, 
I mean, technically, it's about a um, a British police sergeant who shows up at this island village because there's a little girl who goes missing, but then they say that she never existed at all. And then there's the bear suit and the bees and all that weird stuff. That's funny. I don't remember him being British. I remember it being that one guy who, uh, you know, does the memes. Oh, you're talking about the Hollywood version. I'm talking about the 1973 British play. Oh. You got to know your history, Ben. You said you wanted to be in theater club. You need to know this stuff. Well, yeah, but I didn't know there was that. I didn't know there's stuff like that. It's neat. But yeah, it's between that and Oklahoma. Well, which one do you want? You know, neither. I'd prefer to do Mamma Mia. But that's, that's for another day. No, that's for another day. Don't worry about it. Hmm. You get me going about Mamma Mia and I never stop. Here we go again. <gasps> you should totally join Drama Club. <laughs> ben laughs at that. Okay, well, it looks like we got a little time. Uh, it looks like, oh, yeah, Sir Beast and Sojander just... Uh, just found the uh, gummy bears, so they're going to be busy for a minute. Uh, Dolly, you want to join us? Uh, yeah, absolutely. All Gets right. the heck out of running monologues again. All right. Uh, ben unzips his hoodie, puts it down, and okay, so... Uh, and he begins teaching both of you the dance, and uh, give me a dexterity roll. I rolled a nat one. <laughs> Dahlia, you get this. It is not that complicated. Step left turn, step left turn, box step, box step, box step. It is kick step, fossy, kick step, fossy. Just hands. Manny, you don't know when the Macarena began, <laughs> but you feel this in your soul. I just love that my dice are, are paying attention to what I wrote on my character sheet. It makes me happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, we cut away from the theater to uh, actually the club buildings. North Point Academy is large enough to have an entire building devoted to the official organizations, uh, such as the Anime Club or the Video Game Design Club or the Occult Research Society which uh, we don't talk about. Iris, you're here for the first time in your life. How are you handling this? Mm, well, I mean, she's here because she, she feels torn, right? Because part of her is like, I should be brave. I felt brave before. I can feel brave again. So she's there, but that doesn't change. You know, old habits die hard. One day of being in a dream doesn't really fix a whole lifetime. Oh, yeah. So she's like, you know, pretty panicked. But there, she is wearing um, a, a helmet. <laughs> I thought you were going to say a hazmat suit for a second there. No, no. She wishes. That's, a, that's in her uh, wish list. Hmm. For Christmas, She's I want like a, like the I want PlayStation of... Five and a hazmat suit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean that's a 2020 wish list, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know how real that is. Uh, mini but marker, it's, thank it's you the for kind. The it's the kind that's like um like a motorcycle helmet, like so you could cover it. Yeah, uh, you're being led around by Nanako, the mm -hmm. other member of the school safety squad. Uh, yeah, so uh, reverse Aquamath, I, I talked to him earlier and they told me, uh, let's see, 212, 213, 214. Uh, she opens up the door and you're greeted with a dark room. Uh, there is a table in the center and some bookshelves and that's pretty much it. Uh, there's not even a whiteboard in here. And Nanako turns on the lights and turns to you and gives you the biggest smile. I got us a club room. Oh. You mean you want to meet somewhere that's not in my room? Well, I mean, I usually have to sit in the hallway anyway, but um, I, yeah, I, I figured this way, you know, uh, 
Well, it's not, it's not ours yet. We have to get one more club member first. But uh, if we do that, then we can have this room. It's been sitting empty for like six months. I already dusted, don't worry. Um, Is there a reason it's been empty for six months? What if it's cursed or something? There's something wrong. Did somebody die in here? Uh, no, no, it was for the postmodern postmodern literature society uh they got into an argument about brecht and then they all got into a fist fight and uh they are not allowed to be a club anymore okay okay well this is a perfect opportunity for us to run a drill or two maybe we can we can run around and check for black mold oh um how do you do that i don't know how to do that you have to peel back the wallpaper oh i'm gonna start um, peeling the wallpaper if i can <laughs> hey give me that there you're all A nine? <laughs> yeah, so this isn't your first rodeo. You get out I your- I peeled out some wallpaper in my day. <laughs> you get out your uh, perfectly sterile uh, Swiss army knife, do a little cut, peel it up. Nothing there. Though you do feel the judging eyes of Kali on the back of your neck. Shut up! Nanako kind of jumps back. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, I was talking to you. Um, okay, well, everything looks pretty pretty good. You did say something that brought to me a, a feeling of excitement, but also alarm. Um, a third member, you say? Uh, yeah, no. Um, so I, I, I was talking to, uh, I was talking to the school, uh, she began twirling her hair. I was talking to the school, uh, you know, government, people, you know, the ones who approve clubs and stuff. And technically the school safety squad is um, not official yet. What? But, but we're looking out for the, for the safety of every single student and faculty member here. I, I know, but they, you need to have at least three members and you also need to have some organization. Uh, What's not organized about this? I want to open my bag and reveal like all of my like papers and does it like is it one of those folders that just kind of rolls out yeah and it like when she opens her bag it's like and like all the stuff kind of comes out no 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 it wasn't that i tried to explain that but they were mostly talking about uh like events and stuff the drama club does their plays the anime club does their viewings um apparently having that tent at the school festival was a really big win but we have to set up something else okay i was kind of hoping that our flyers would have been enough of an event but i guess just leaving papers everywhere isn't really an event no they actually said that was a detriment and said it was technically littering littering it's not my fault that every time i give someone a flyer they throw it in the trash it's well, not trash on the billboards me i mean the bulletin boards not billboards yeah okay well it has to be someone that's vetted like that we know um you know if they've been capable of violent crimes or not um, i don't think anyone here has been uh, like to jail or anything like that. Okay. Well. Oh, what about Lenny? Oh, I know Lenny. I've been through quite a. I've socialized with him. I um, I kind of noticed. What is that? Are you upset because you weren't invited? Not everybody can no. be invited to everything. I'm not mad because I'm not a gr- part of a group of somebody else. No, no. Um, I'm happy. Oh. What is your subtext? I can't read, I, what? Oh, um, this is gonna be super embarrassing, but um, I've wanted to be friends with you since freshman year. Me? Yeah, you're the bravest person I know. What? Uh, okay. Um, I- I, I don't want to be mean, but like the first thing I ask is like, what part? Like, what, what, what? I, I just, like, have you You're, seen something I haven't seen? I, I, I guess, I mean, you seem. Seen... 
you you don't really like to leave your room. I, I know no. that. Um, and I know most of the world kind of, you know, makes you anxious, but you deal with it like all the time. Like even if it's in your own way, you still deal. And that's, um, I always thought that was really cool. <laughs> wow. I feel really good right now. And that's not normal for me. Whoa. Okay. I never thought of it as being brave. I just thought of it as having a palpitating heart. Um, I don't do a lot of things because I'm scared and you're scared too, but you do the things that scare you. And that's, you know, that's why I've wanted to be friends with you for so long. Oh, well, you can be friends. You can be friends with me. We, I, I think you're, I, I, I was happy when you wanted to join the club. So I think we can become friends. I, I never thought of myself as someone that's brave. So I, I feel quite different um, and, 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 and pretty excited. Um, uh, I, I'm hopeful that this will buoy me into making braver decisions. Um, but you're brave because you told me that. You told me you wanted to be friends with me. And then, then even though there's a possibility that I could laugh in your face, which I did do. You did. Um, so, so you're brave too. Thanks. She's hugging her backpack and she gives you a bit of a smile. Um, you could tell this is something she's wanted to say for a long time. And this was the first time she's ever had the nerve to. Um, here, um, maybe as part of our, our club, we can, we can wear like identifying uh, bracelets or something. Um, and then everyone will see um, that, that we're, we're, we're proud to, to be in the same club together. I, I'd like that. That sounds neat. Okay. Um, I like reach into my bag and I pull out um, zip ties. And um, they're like, uh, let's say they're green. And she puts one on her wrist and then she, she like hands one to to Nanako. Uh, Nanako puts it on and you could tell this has made her day. Cool. <laughs> cool. Um, so so uh, we could go talk to Lenny, see if he wants yeah. to join. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, hopefully, hopefully you can do something that I can't because I, I ask them, um, I ask my friends almost every day and, and they are just so busy. All it's just so busy at all times. And on that, uh, Lenny, how's the moping going? Uh, you know, he's working up, he's worked up a good mope, uh, but it's all like Lenny, like it's all internalized. He is, he is practiced facade. Nobody can tell. Can they? I don't know. <laughs> They'll have to roll for it. <laughs> um, the key of Sun Wukong on your desk sort of vibrates a bit before he takes a tangible form in your room. What's, get, what's your problem? Who pooped in oh. your soup? Oh, I actually haven't had soup in uh, like a, a while. Uh, so I'm not, but I think- Yeah, uh, wait. man, soup is good. But no, that, that's not why I'm here. Okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I just, uh, you seem kind of mopey and you're not really, you know, doing much. Want to make sure you're not gonna, you know, pull a Sylvia Plath or something. Uh, no, I wasn't, I wasn't intending to. Uh, I'm, I'm not much into literature. Yeah, me neither. Sold it from uh, my wife. I don't know what it means. Yeah. And now you're seeing two heterosexual <laughs> men discuss their feelings. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> yeah, Saki. <laughs> we, 
We keep making assumptions here, Steve. That is an assumption. That is. We have not ever confirmed asked. one way or the other. We cannot Nobody's make this ever assumption. Asked. Uh, Ninkasa goes ahead and takes her tangible form in your room as well. Oh, hey. Hey, monkey man, leave him alone. What? He's bummed out. You should go kiss something. I don't know. What are you into? Uh, uh, right now, uh, I need to... I. I need to study because I have to uh, maintain a perfect grade point average. Uh, so I'm, you know, it's, it which takes a lot of work uh, between practice. And then uh, we have a, a student government has a, a model UN coming up pretty soon. So I need to, I need to make sure that I, I've, I've got that down pat. I don't want dumb and boring. Yeah, no, it's not, it's not like fun in the traditional sense of things. Uh, but like, I have to do it. Nah. Uh, yeah, but like, yeah. Nah. Um, but like, yeah. Ninkasa starts giggling to herself. This is the most stimulating conversation she's ever seen. Nah, let's like, I don't know. What about those giant pizzas? Let's get a giant pizza and then like, I don't know, throw it a bird or something. Oh, I mean... Hey, that sounds like a lot of carbohydrates, and uh, I can't I can't be consuming that right now. Uh, and also, that sounds like violence against an animal that does not deserve it. I'm an animal, technically. Are we all yeah. animals, technically? I mean, if you want to get into the strict, I mean, if you're like my uh, my archaeology professor uh, in the strictest sense, yes. Okay, so like, what if we go commit violence against a person animal? That sounds fun. Uh, I want to fight. Yeah. I don't much enjoy violence against people. I feel like violence is uh, is a reaction that lesser people choose uh, when they're scared of things. I'm not Mostly scared of death. nothing. I, yeah, one of my professors said that uh, all human culture is uh, is 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 based on the idea of death because we are in in the only sentient creatures on our planet that we know of that are uh, aware of what death is at every moment of our lives. Oh, that's not true, man. Ducks know. Oh, do they? Oh. Ducks know. <laughs> There's something in the eyes. Like, they know. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, come on, let's go do something fun. I'm bored. I'm stuck as a key. Oh, yeah. I imagine that's... Uh... That, that sucks. Um, yeah, no. I can't, like, he points a thumb over at uh, Ninkasa. And I do mean a thumb. He has four of them. Like, she gets to go ahead and walk around with you and experience stuff and fight. I'm stuck as an object. Like, oh. watch, watch, watch this, watch this. I tried this. And he runs full blast at your wall. And... Right back to the key. Oh, wow. Yeah. Sucks. That's, that's like that game where you got the bungee cord on you and you got like run real far. And I don't understand. Yo, I want point. to do that. Oh, you missed out. That was the other week. Oh, man. That's school spirit week. Yeah, I was dead. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like the ducks. No, ducks are alive. They're just aware, like us, of death at every moment of our lives. That is true. Anyway, yeah, I'm bored. Let's do something. Oh, okay. I guess I can. Uh, let me see. He pulls out his, his, his like like a couple of different uh, day planners. Uh, I guess like if I move this, uh, give me a dexterity yeah, roll. <laughs> Difficulty six. <laughs> okay. Uh. Okay. Well, I hope I get I I crit on this dice. I don't three. <laughs> yeah. Um. Sun Wukong has taken the planner from you and is playing keep away with okay. uh, ninkasa huh. that's it's that's like fun Us. but like i need to i need to like Us. i need i Us. i need to like not but like i need Us. to like no uh like like i could probably squeeze like 15 minutes of like solid uh uh screwing around time but I, I need to like i need to adjust some things Us. um iris as you approach uh lenny's door you he you are able to hear the words toss being said over a rambling Lenny. 
Nanako just is a little confused and goes, is Lenny talking to himself? Is he okay? Okay. Um, you know what would be a really cool way for you to be brave is if um you go all the way to the end of this scary hallway i live uh, i live there yeah wouldn't that be so such a cool brave thing if you go do that and then i go in and and you have to leave me alone to go talk to lenny alone? Iris, do you need to have a word with lenny by yourself i do real quick? okay you, <laughs> if um you could just say that. Okay, I was afraid. I was afraid. No. I'll say that next time. I'd like to speak with him privately, please. Sure. Um, I hope he's okay. That's a lot of talking to yourself. I know nothing of that. If you just put it down, we can like sort this out. Toss. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to uh, knock in a very ag- aggressive way for Iris, which is like ding, ding, ding. Uh, ho- hold on one second. Uh, hello? He's going to open the door. Iris, behind Lenny, you can see uh, Ninkasa and uh, Sun Wukong playing keep away. Well, they were keep playing keep away. Now they're just playing catch. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, how's it going? Are you... Uh, it, 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 are you busy? Uh, you know... Honestly, I don't know because uh, they won't let me look at my day planner. Right, because you have so many different activities that you do. Mm-hmm. Well. He does not. I was going to see if you could maybe squeeze something in. Uh, I mean, I guess at this point, I don't have, I don't know what I have up. Uh, so I guess I'm free. Well, Nanako, who's down the hall, I did preserve your... Um, uh, your your uh, image oh. and, to- and, to- and told her that I, I needed to talk to you privately. Um, so maybe, um, I mean, you could do whatever you want, but she's going to come back over here and we're going to ask you to join the safety school club, school safety oh. squad. Okay. And that, is that supposed to be like a, a secret? Like, am I not supposed to know that you're going to ask that? Or it's like... No, it's... No, I was trying to make because if Nanako came in here and you're freaking out about Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would That's hard to explain, I imagine. Yeah. It's at this so point we... uh Ninkasa lets out another giggle. Oh, she wouldn't see us. Uh, uh, oh, watch this. Watch this. Ninkasa a vine extends from her jar and she grabs a football. You having a room? Woo! Floating footballs. Actually, it, actually, let's bring her in. Let's bring her in. It'll be so funny. Let's bring her in. Let's bring her in. Uh, I love this idea. Let's do it. Let's how do about it. I join you in the hallway? <laughs> yeah, th- things are pretty, pre- pretty new with Nanako, and I kind of don't want to mess them up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wouldn't want to uh, do that to you. Thank you. Um, okay, let's 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 speak in the hallway. Oh, yeah. But this does sound like you're more amenable to joining the club than previously. So I'm pretty excited. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is there like a pitch? Yeah. One moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As you walk down the hallway, uh, ding, 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 over the school PA system. Uh, attention, students. Very special announcement from So Yonder. Remember reading that right? Okay. To everyone being brave every day, whether other people realize or not. Thank you, So Yonder. And also from DJ Regular. Important note about death and waterfowl. Ducks know and are terrified. Geese know and are excited to take everyone else with them. God damn it, DJ. Uh, wow, that's like super poignant to a conversation I was having earlier. It's weird. Here's to that. Thank you very much. They just talk about ducks and geese? Yes, over in the auditorium, 
you have no idea what they're talking about being brave or ducks, but okay. The toasts are getting weirder and weirder. The school announcements are bizarre here at North Point. Maybe this is just important. I'm going to write it down. Perhaps it is meant to be a prompt for a show? Manny, Manny, focus, yeah. focus. Uh, you keep doing the cha-cha slide. Please stop doing the cha-cha slide. This step ball change. Step, step. I did a step ball change. That's what mm -hmm. I did. No, no, you did not. You oh. really did not. All right, let's take it slower this time. Okay, take it slow, take it slow. Back in the dormitory, uh, Iris, you, Iris and Lenny, you both approach Nanako, who has uh, been hanging out in front of her room, and she looks up at you, Lenny. Face goes beet red, and she is. She looks up, makes eye contact, looks immediately down. Oh, hey, uh, 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 hi, hi, hello, hi. It's it's Lenny, like you suggested. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, that's me. Yep, that, that's Lenny. Yep. <laughs> okay, well, we have to do a pitch. So are you ready? Cut. She begins saying stuff in Japanese you don't really recognize before. Uh, yes, yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, hello, Lennox. My name is Nanako Majima. It is nice to meet you. I come from Osaka, Japan, and I would like to sell you the school safety squad. Oh, is this and like she an, seems an, frozen an, in time. <laughs> okay. First um, of all, it's it's nice to meet you. I'm pretty sure we've met before a couple of times, uh, but that's okay. Um, so this is like an investment opportunity. Less investment and more. Do you want to join? Not because not the world is full of terrors. Yeah, a, a lot of bad things happen. Sometimes, like like anyone could just like get into a car accident, like any point, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's one. I mean, on our campus, I guess that's not really that big of a because there's so much walking. Yeah. Um. I, why do you bring that up? No reason. It just happens to people. So, right, different things happen to different people. And don't you want to be prepared for that to save yourself and your fellow students? That's actually a really, like, a really good Affirmative. point. Affirmative. Because, like, uh, like... What? 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 Huh? What? Huh? What? what? I go. Um, like, I Give me a second, get... please. And okay. she runs to her room and slams the door behind her. Like... I don't want to be like insensitive or anything, and like if it's a touchy subject, uh, uh, you know, I'll I'll drop it. But is Nanako like, uh, like a robot? I was not gonna ask that. Okay. Okay. I, I I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know. This is the first time I've seen anything like this. Um, but we are, we are friends. I don't know if you noticed our bracelets. Um, yeah. and you can have one too if you join. Oh. Um, okay. And hopefully. <laughs> we can get ultimate crossover of the Phantom Queen Research Club and the S School Safety Club. Because I think um, in general, it's the same goal. Oh, I'm, that's that's actually, that's, that's heck of smart. Cause like we could get all of us to join the safety squad and then we could use the room for that for our other thing too. Yeah, um, but about wow. the Nautico thing, um, I'm not actually sure. Cause like I don't mind if like if like she's a robot like that's, that's a robot. actually like really cool. Oh oh, okay. we're talking loudly. Oh. Uh, in front of my room, it's fine, it's fine. I'm fine, I'm fine. This is fine, this is fine. Okay, all right. And okay. she comes out and she's wearing her cheerleading uniform. Uh, yes, hi. Uh, we are here to uh, pitch to you joining the school safety society. Though it seems like you've kind of already had the pitch. Yeah. Yeah, I'm on board. Cool. Oh, great. Wow. I checked my awesome. I checked my day planner, but I I can't right now. So like toss. I guess I guess I just have to like 
Well, let's take a picture Wing of it? our newest member. Um, here, you stand with Nanako. Okay. No, no. It. You don't. You don't want a picture, Nanako. Are you saying you don't want a picture? No, it's fine. This is fine. No, it's fine. Yes, picture. No, it's fine. It's no, fine. It's fine. Take the picture. It's fine. Okay. okay. We'll take the picture. And he puts his arm around the cuff. <laughs> Iris, I'm not saying this is the beginning of a beautiful photography career. I am saying you have managed to encapsulate a young woman's moment where she just wishes death would come for her. That she just wishes the earth would open up and swallow her whole. Mm. And she is standing there in her cheerleading outfit with a boy's arm around her and just thinking, Oh no, oh no, I made a mistake. Iris looks at that and at the picture. Hmm, this looks like my insides. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nanako. Um, it's fine, it's fine, this is fine, this is fine. I am in my uh, warrior outfit, I'm fine. So what's this uh, thing about uh, the um, Phantom Queen research? <laughs> It's like uh, we, a couple of us, uh, it's just what we've been calling ourselves. We're like, we go out and like try and find any signs. Like we're trying to like hunt down the rumors and like see like, like where they, they come from and stuff like that. Oh, oh, like the night you guys found me out at the uh, old um, auditorium. Oh, oh, was that yeah. what you guys doing out there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um. Well, uh, I, I would be happy to join that club as well, if that's okay. Why am I wearing this outfit right now? Oh God, what was I thinking? Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, I, I, I will be right back. Um, but yeah, I'll join both clubs. I'm, I'm glad you joined Lenny. Oh, Slam. Cool. She seems nice. She is. And she's very cool. <laughs> seems like it. Um, like, like, even though she's not a robot, she's still pretty cool. I'm not a robot. It would be kind of cool if she was a robot, huh? Yeah, I was like, like, I'm not disappointed that she's not a robot, but like, it would have been cool to have like a friend who's a robot. Yeah. Yeah. But I still think that she, what she is is really cool. Um, yeah. But first order of business, I'm going to give him a zip tie. Oh, cool. That's for your. Oh, yeah. He puts it on. As you put on the zip tie, and speaking of robots, Manny, how is your robot dance? It's pretty decent. I got a four out of six. <laughs> well, at, at least, least charismatic on a on a charismatic level, it's fine. On a well, actually, let me roll my charisma too. Dexterity wise, it's okay. Charisma wise, it's about the same. <laughs> uh, Dahlia, you've taken movement classes as oh, yeah. an actor. Absolutely. You've never hit this rock. You now understand what rock bottom is. Hmm. Manny's having a great time. Manny's having a great time, but this is these are not the dance steps. These this is not is, the dance. Is it really rock bottom if she's or they are having a great time. That's a good point. For Ben, this is rock bottom though. Mm. I have to do we have to do this dance in front of the whole school tomorrow. I'm gonna die. This is death. Hey, Hello it's Dark okay. is my old Look, friend. You can just stand in the back rows and you'll get covered. Yeah, <laughs> please. <laughs> Here's a pen. I just want you to shove it right in my temple and just don't stop until you hit gray matter, okay? I'm not gonna do that, Ben. <sighs> this is gonna be just a long day. Look at how Manny's enjoying themselves. Like, just be like that. Well, if you are if having you a good time, reject your happiness, everyone will feed off of it. Yeah. And honestly, we're, we're only as good as our worst answer, so I need you to pick it up. <laughs> Just a little bit. You're not even in our club, but uh, thanks. 
you know, we could use you, use you for the pep squad. Yeah, well, I just learned today that I can join other clubs, so maybe I will join the pep yeah. squad. The school, schools, I don't even know why the school requires you to join a club. It's kind of weird. I think that's why I joined so many. I was like, oh, I can only, you really want me to do one? I'll do four. Well, three. It's going to look so good when you're, when you're walking across that stage of graduation, you have all your cords and your tassels and all the colors. I guess. Manny, how many do you have? Clubs? Yeah. Hey, luck, lucky number, I guess. You and I both. Two. I think two is fine for me. Yep. Manny, as you nod your head, na na, nod your head, uh, you know, hearing the dulcet tones of Will Smith in your head, uh, go ahead and give me an intelligence roll real fast. Oh, no. We're looking for a three. <laughs> Adventures of Tony, thank you for the tips. And uh, Vient, I am going to say this wrong. V Ventar, V Ventar, right? I rolled a three. You rolled a three? Holy crap! Man, you rolled about the two in intelligence. I only have four numbers on this die. No! Ah! I did thank it! Thank you for the raid. And all right, uh, as you nod your head, na na, nod your head. Uh, you look up and there is Loki. Green and red and angular as ever. Standing in the rafters of the auditorium like a goddamn phantom, he waves back down at you. A sneak. <laughs> While Dahlia and Better are distracted and talking, I think uh, Manny just does a quick adieu. <laughs> All right, Manny. As you duck out, you find the uh, you find the ladder to the upper rafters. It's not hidden over here. And Loki seems very surprised you're up here. You know, I suspected when you saw me, uh, the, the reaction would be more, ah. Why? I'm working for the Phantom Queen and I'm kind of evil. No, you're not. What, what, makes, what makes you so sure? Because I saw it. You're only doing what you have to do to survive. You don't know that. I I could be playing her. I'm a trickster. I could be playing everyone. I could be just uh, fucking with the Phantom Queen for a little bit, and then eventually I'm going to stab her in the back, and then I'm going to open up the door to infinity. Okay? Maybe that's what's going to happen. Sure. Maybe that's what's going to happen. But it hasn't happened yet. I want you to give me an intelligence roll plus four. I rolled a four. <laughs> <laughs> Manny, you might not be the most classically intelligent member of your team and your grades reflect that, but you have a way of reading people and you can tell what you just said, not only hit Loki at his core, you went beyond that. You found something that this man, this God was convinced no one ever could see, ever. And you not only found it, you took out the pickaxe and just went at, went at it. And his face kind of flickers between really touched and furious. You need something? No. And he reaches over the railing of the catwalk you're standing on. And Dahlia, 
about a flame burst on the stage where you left your copy of the Wicker Man script. Oh, no. Did someone say the M-word? Oh, no. The M-word? I'm so sorry, but I can't say it. We're in a theater. It's a sacred place. And if Who I cares? Think... We're on, things are on fire. We got to get out of here. Where's Where the hell is Manny? But my script. Dolly's going to try to run up and grab her script. Is it mm. on fire? It is on fire. She wants to stomp on it. Okay, uh, give me a strength roll. Um, as the fire alarm begins to blare throughout the entire campus, Lenny and Iris, you both hear it over in the Galana dorms. Um, I got uh, a not one. Oh my God, Dahlia, <laughs> Dahlia. Oh, okay, all right. Why did it have to be strength? <laughs> So, Dahlia, you're going to have to take a condition here, I'm afraid. I'm not, I don't do this with a smile on my face, except I do because I love when you guys make choices like this. Uh, you are going to take wound three. So your dex is decreased by one size, and uh, it, you have to roll over a three for anything to work now with your dex die. Okay. Uh, Manny, Manny, my script is gone. Well, I mean, I know, I know the model is by heart, but I have so many notes in there. You're already off book? My God. Yeah, I stay up all night. Orpheus has been helping me. Um, <laughs> she's going to run off the stage towards Manny and Ben. Uh, ben is basically in the, uh, you know, where the audience would sit and Manny is on a catwalk right, above you. Yeah. She'll go back to Ben then. Yeah. Uh, ben is rushing for a fire extinguisher. Uh, and that's when the rest of the drama club comes pouring out on the stage. My script. Oh! It's okay. We can print off new ones. And that's when a uh, bone white arm comes shooting out of the ashes of the script and the fire continues to blaze on stage and a key stabs Xander directly in the chest and turns. When that happens, Manny's gonna look to where they saw Loki. Is he still there? Loki stands there, his arms crossed. And even though the face is like shattered glass, you can tell they're trying very hard to look like they are not caring right now. You should stop by my room sometime later so we can talk. But I think for now it's probably best that you leave. That's how most of the conversations with me end. He walks off the catwalk and he's gone. Uh, Iris and Lenny, um, you hear the fire alarm. Uh, how, how is that? How does Iris react to a fire alarm? Defcon one people! <laughs> <laughs> ah, we, we gotta feel the doorknobs. The, if it's warm, don't go in. I'm gonna, she's going to start like feeling all the doorknobs in the hall. Can she tell where it's con like, is there any way to know where this it's coming from? Or is it just, uh, um, as you kind of run around in a panic, uh, you see uh, you see Leroy, captain of the basketball team, kind of his doors open. He glances out his window. Uh, I think it's over at the auditorium. Do I know who's in the auditorium? You are aware drama clubs there. Ah, uh, okay. Mmm, deepest fear of a large natural disaster-ish type thing. But also, I do, uh, I recently felt brave and Nanako thinks I'm brave. Lenny! Yeah. I think we have to go towards the fire! Listen, as, as the leaders of 
and only members of the school safety squad. It would be uh, a detriment to our responsibilities if we did not uh, assist. Okay, um, I'm gonna wrap myself in a wet blanket. Okay, I have to grab a key real quick. Yes. Okay. And as you go back to your room where Ninkasa and Sun Wukong are still playing keep away with your day planner. I have a quick announcement. Thanks to the chat, we have unlocked re-rolls for the table. So there are five re-rolls available. If you guys uh, flummox on something, now you get a mulligan. It's pronounced Lennox. <laughs> wow. That one I'll see myself out. I'll see <laughs> You're not going anywhere, sir. We got 45 minutes left of the show. Oh, All hey. Right. Um, I, uh, there's a fire, so uh, I guess I'll take your key with me. <laughs> Sweet! Uh, with that, Somukong vanishes as you pick up the monkey key. The monkey, if you will. Hmm. I'm not proud of that one, but I will not apologize. All right, off we go to the, the auditorium. All right. Um, the drama club is piling out. Uh, Christina has is trying to drag along Xander uh, as the two of you, uh, Manny and Dahlia, you see this towering inferno exit Xander's chest. Its head is a spiraling vote vortex of what looks like tree branches and writhing bodies. Um, and soon the fire is hitting the top of the auditorium. It's an out of control inferno. Oh, just my luck the year that I'm gonna make lead, the theater catches on fire. Of course this would happen. Less talking, more dousing of said fire. R.I.P. Meeks, thank you for the tip. Persephone, can you, can you do anything? Do you have I'll any I'll see what I can rain? do. Uh, with that, we are going to go ahead and roll initiative. So initiative that would be- is speed dexterity dex. plus dex. Yes. Sorry, speed and plus dex, sorry. Unlike a normal combined roll, you do not have to spend AP for this. Eight. Nice. Are me and Eric rolling or no? We're not there yet. You will, I would like you guys to roll as well. Oh, okay. Nine. I also got a nine. Oh, uh, dang. Six. And it was based on HP who goes first? It is based on, yes, it is based on HP, I believe. I go first then. Before All right. Lenny. Manny. I'm not even there. Makes sense to me. But I also just have more HP than you, so. All right. Manny uh, is Dolly, you got an eight, correct? Yes. And Iris will take up the rear at six. That'll do it. All right. DJ Regular, thank you again for the tip. So, Manny, you are on a catwalk, and at eye level with you is a punch of... At a distance, they look like bodies, but up close, they just kind of look like mannequins. Uh, but they are flailing and trying to climb out of this giant wooden head they are engulfed in. Buzz Callan, thank you. Uh, what are you going to do, Manny? Can you describe that for me one more time? I don't think I quite parsed what was happening there. Okay. So at eye level with you is a giant head, which is a blazing inferno with a bunch of mannequins trying to climb out of it. Uh, beneath it is a large wooden body also on fire. And these came out of Xander? This came out of Xander. Cool. Um, then I think the first thing I want to do uh, is... I want to see if I can find the, so this is a theater, which means the system is likely internal, internalized in some way uh, in order to keep it from like screwing up with the rest of like the stuff because there's just so much electronics and ridiculous that runs through theaters. 
can I see if I can find, can, can, uh, can, can Manny attempt to essentially find the theater's internal systems to see if they can find the place where like they could trip the wire, like the water or, or, or something like that, like actually turn, like trigger the water system, like the um, fire suppression system. Sure. But I am going to, it will be an intelligence role. So well, I mean, they're good, probably going to use Ma'at to help them reveal, oh, okay. you know, that place. That is one of your powers. That's a very good yeah. call. So go ahead and make an intelligence and we'll make it range for this one because you want to scan the entire auditorium. And I'm using an AP since I'm... Yes, you are. Using Ma'at's power. Kel-Kel's 99. Thank you. Both pretty bad rolls for me, but we're going to see what we can do. Uh, only a three. Ah, um, Ma'at's wings glow behind you as a feather goes flying and pings to try to find what's hidden. But before you can, the catwalk just creak and you almost lose your footing. I have a bad feeling about this. All right, uh, next up is the Inferno's turn. Uh, it is going to try to strike at you, Dahlia. Okay. It crit failed. <gasps> I do a ball step change to get away. You ball step change out of the way. Seriously, I rolled a one on a D6 and a D8. Um, it does not hit you as a large wooden hand comes down and just smashes a chair next to you, completely avoiding you. Uh, next up is Lennox. Uh, you come running up to the auditorium as you see the drama club pouring out, though some of them are still arguing about the goddamn production. Um, inside, you see the towering inferno and you also see Manny on a catwalk. Not a great spot for him. No. Uh, then, a good thing I got water powers. I'm going to use my water powers to, to douse these flames. See how well I do that. Uh, okay. Uh, go ahead and make a strength range roll and spend cool. the AP. Okay. Strength. Range. Same die, so I get to roll it twice. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the next roll is better than that one. That first one, it's not. It was worse. That's a total of five on 2D12s. Ah, uh, yeah. You attempt your wave, and you know what? For a quarterback, your depth perception is kind of lacking sometimes. Dahlia, you see as a wave comes in seemingly out of nowhere for Ben and just kind of, no, oh, now your shoes are wet. You know how much theater shoes cost? No, there I don't have any real. I don't. <laughs> yeah. I don't really know how much most things cost because I have no concept of money. It's a banana, Michael. How much could it cost? Ten dollars. <laughs> it's funny because it's horrible. Uh, all right, so Dahlia, you're up next. Um. So my shoes are wet. I've dodged the fire. Yes. And is uh, what's his face still all weird and keyed? Probably. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Um, they have dragged the remaining drama club members have dragged uh, Xander's body out of here, though you can hear Christina screaming that he's not breathing. <gasps> oh, gosh. Okay. Um I'm still going to try to put the fire out because the stage is a sacred place. Persephone, can you give me... Okay, listen. You remember? Well, you probably don't remember, but do you know when, like, servants are, are fanning someone? Can you give me some really big leaves so I can get this fire out? Palm fronds. Got it. Yes. Go ahead and make me an intelligence and power roll. I got a five. That's enough. Um, from your hand, Persephone creates an elaborately large palm frond uh, that you can wave, that maybe you can wave the fire away or just make it bigger. You'll have to check next turn for that. Okay. Hey, Persephone's a creator. Yeah. 
Iris, uh, it is your turn. Okay. Um, huh. Say, Kali. Boom. Yes. Doesn't fire need oxygen to burn? I believe most carbon-based things need air at some point. Well, why don't why don't you um um cr- create a a galaxy just right in the center of that, and then in the vacuum of space, the fire will have nothing to burn. In space, no one can hear you scream. <laughs> Go ahead and give me a. Uh, intelligence and range roll as well as you attempt to create this black hole inside the wicker man and is this intelligence plus range minus two um you know what this is well i'm gonna ask you are you gonna try to give it a condition or are you gonna try to do damage um i'm gonna try and give it a condition i'm trying to stop the fire okay uh in that case it will not be with a negative two okay great uh yeah, but i will not have your to normal two hit Okay, this, I will be having to use my AP, correct? Yes. Okay. All right, great. We're looking for at least a five. <laughs> oh, baby, I got you. 20. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, so, you... How do you do this, Iris? Um, I think Kali, like, through Iris, like reaches out and then like Kali's arms extend like and then like rip a hole like through the middle of where the fire is Mm. and then like shoves a hand in that hole and then like a galaxy is created I love it and then uh it's yeah there's no oxygen in that space all right as the fire is sucked into the uh, black inky void of infinity, uh, we go back to the top of the order with Manny. Uh, Manny, the fire is no longer as large as it was. You can tell whatever Iris did is kind of getting rid of it. Though you'll have to watch out because if you got too close to it, you wouldn't exist anymore. I'm above the head, correct? Yes. And where exactly is that black hole placed? Uh, it sounded kind of like you put it in the heart area of the Wicker Man. That was the center of the fire, after all. Yeah, it was in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. So the head's fairly safe, right? Yeah, I guess. Uh, so the catwalk is about to collapse. Mm-hmm. I am right above this head. Uh, Manny starts to run down the length of the catwalk and in the place where it looks like it started to collapse and there's probably a space to like jump off, Mm -hmm. they're going to leap from the catwalk onto the wicker man's head. And as they do, they're going to form a sword of truth that they're going to stab into the wicker man's head. Oh, no, I thought you just had your own music going there. Um, <laughs> it's an alarm that I have. Okay, I'm going to need a... I'm going to have to have you roll twice here, okay? Cool, cool. First up, Let me I know if a, I can do all of that in one turn first. I don't know if the rules say you can, but Steven thinks this is really cool, so he's going to allow you to create your sword and make a death-defying I, jump. Yeah, I feel like this is movement plus my attack action essentially but i don't know how the economy of this game works well you always get a move action and then you get another action of your choice right so uh we'll go ahead and i go ahead and give me a dexterity roll and are you using ma'at for your jump well uh yes Um, then make it dexterity and power okay whoo all right here we go All right, so I rolled a twelve on uh, on my on my uh, power roll and a three on my deck, so that's fifteen. I love to see jump. it. Uh, let me go you ahead and make it AP for that. 
you both feet land on top of the wicker man's head. Uh, these strange mannequin arms are kind of grasping at you, but they don't have opposable fingers. So it's more just kind of like, eh, eh. It's uncomfortable and weird looking, but you are fine. And, and almost as if there's like an invisible sheet at their side, you see their arm pull across their body and the sword just sort of forms as they do. And they just kind of like swing it above their head and then just kind of bring it right down into the wicker man as hard as they can. Uh, give me strength and power. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Uh, not, as, not quite as good, but it's a nine. A nine hits. Um, oh, so, wait, do I have to, do I, I, I'm, I, I add two, don't I? Because I'm a guardian. Uh, yes, you do actually. That's actually an 11 then. Okay, that um, is definitely going to hit. So give me strength and defense and minus two. Great, strength and defense. Sorry, give me just a second. Still don't have these memorized by heart, but that's okay. Minus two, oof, that's not great. That's only... Only two. Only two damage. Yeah, its defense is much higher than that. So, Manny, you stab your sword into it, and you it's kind of it's kind of caught on something. It's a little stuck. It's a little st and that's when you see that the hands have all grabbed the hilt, well, not the hilt, the blade of the sword, and they're trying to prevent you from stabbing the head. My strength is truth. It is now the Inferno's time to go. Uh, the Wicker Man is going to try to knock you off its head, Manny. All right, you have a nine to hit right now and it got a seven. So it flails up at its head, trying to get this bug off, get off, get off, get off. Uh, you're planted in, Manny, you're fine. Cool. Um, Next up is Lenny. Okay, so I'm gonna remember practice throwing myself repeatedly at a brick wall and realize mm -hmm. that's probably the best option because uh, I've been training for this. So I am going to take on a more, I'm gonna basically charge in as sort of like more of a watery version of myself and try and just like, hit this thing with my body mass. Hell yeah. Okay, so go ahead and give me a, uh, you know, technically you're supposed to be using intelligence and range for your magician hit. Screw that, what you're doing is gonna be strength and power. Okay, Let's see how well this works. Uh, yeah, that's probably pretty solid, that's, uh... 17, unless we're at the minus two roll, then it'll be 15. Yeah, you just needed a nine. You're fine. It hits. Go ahead and roll me damage. Which is the same, or is it the- Yes, the... it's the same, and we're going to add two to the roll. Okay. Then, yeah, uh, how about that uh, 22? Oh, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Manny, you- hit this thing and not manny lenny lenny i apologize you guys have two similar names i got so scared i was like oh no what's happening to manny <laughs> no manny's <laughs> fine lenny you hit this thing and i'm not going to assume you're repressing a lot of a anger and feelings and you know concerns anxieties but after this, you feel a lot better for some reason. It's almost like you got it out of your system. Uh, you have hit this thing and you have knocked it over. I will need Manny to make a dexterity roll. Manny, you uh, are, as the wicker man topples over, you kind of roll over. You are not damaged, but you have lost your sword in its head. Okay. Yeah. All right. Next up is Dahlia. Um, Let her get yawn out. <laughs> oof. I want to try to get Manny's sword out of the Wicker Man for them. Okay. Um, 
can I consult Persephone to like help me with the use of vines or something like a, a really green plant that won't burn? Sure, go ahead and give me intelligence and range and spend the AP. Eight. Okay. Um, you don't even say anything per before Persephone has launched these vines out and have grabbed the hilt of the sword, pulling it away swiftly. Um, and the vines let go and Manny, uh, the sword has plattered to your feet. Ew. All right, Iris, you're up next. Okay. Um, so what's the status of the flames at this point? The fire in the auditorium has gone out, thankfully. Uh, it looks like it keeps on trying to reignite itself, but thanks to the black hole you've put in its heart, it's like... <laughs> um, okay. So yeah, it's just kind of flailing and it's angry and it's on the ground. Okay. Um, now what are the parts of it that I can access without getting in the danger zone of the black hole? Um, the arms, legs, and head. Okay. Um, I would like to approach, uh, and, and tie its legs together with the, with the wet blanket that I brought in. I, I okay. want to try and tie it, tie it up. All right, uh, go ahead and give me a dexterity roll. Burgermeister, thank you very much for the tip. Mm, just, just, just the dex roll? Not well, plus anything? <laughs> uh, uh, unless you're going to have Kali do something, uh, it's no, just dexterity. We do no. have rerolls. We do have rerolls. I'll, I'll, I'll use one. That was pretty bad. Okay, better. It was a six. Yeah, that's not gonna hit. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so now it, it just has my blanket. It has your blankie. <laughs> Dang. It has your wet blanket. <gasps> okay. Next up, Manny, back to the top. You got your sword back. All right, let's try this again. We're gonna we're gonna do a hit. We're gonna do a hit, which I believe is. Uh, for me as a guardian, it's strength plus power. You tell me. Uh, yes, yes, remember. it is. Strength, strength plus, plus power, power, power plus two. Plus two. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, I'm sorry. It's strength and defense plus two. Strength and defense. All right. Uh, My mistake. You know, you're fine. I still pulled out. I did not pull out that. Cool, cool. Got it. Nope. Like I said, I will remember what my dice rolls are here soon enough. Uh, that is an eight plus two. It's a 10. That will hit. And then damage is... Strength plus defense strength minus plus, two. Strength plus defense minus two? Mm -hmm. Same roll? Yes. For attack and, and damage? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, that's much better. Uh, that's a six. Okay. Um, you slice this thing and you watch as the mannequin arms fall off and just evaporate. Um, you are doing pretty good damage on it and it looks like it's not doing great. Uh, it looks like it's kind of stiffening up and drying out. Uh, and Nana Mouse Shearer, thank you for the bits. And Griffin of H, thank you for the resub. Did you just say a Nani Mouse? A Nani Mouse. Is that anonymous. not it? Anonymous? No, I mean, a, a Nani Mouse. Anonymous. 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 That's not how you spell anonymous. An yes. Anonymous. Anonymous. Oh, an anonymous. Oh, <laughs> an anonymous. Oh, oh. It, it would be an A, but because cure. the next word st starts with an A. a, 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 a. I know, I know. I work as an an anonymous. anonymous. And there's just not spaces in there because it's like a it's a screen name. So I am. They don't uh, use no, that. No, I'm. Uh, I, I would. <laughs> I would like to that... leave the room, please. I'm very embarrassed right now. <laughs> don't be embarrassed. A thousand bits is awesome, and that would fluster anybody. Thank you for, Thank you yeah. for the bits. bits. Thank you for a thousand bits. <laughs> you know what? They got a little more stage time, so even though they wanted to be anonymous, do you mean? Anonymous. I love 
Mm. Also, uh, Mika, Mika, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, we have unlocked performance piece. Yeah, we have. So go ahead and make up a monologue because that's going to be after combat. Gotcha. Make gonna one up or, or say one from memory. Make one up. I'm not going to actually expect you to know a monologue. Unless you do. I don't know your life. <laughs> but I do. <laughs> All right. Cool, cool, cool. I have one planned. Cool. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, back to combat. Um, I believe we just left off with Manny. Uh, the Inferno is going to try to recharge real quick. He is at a major negative here. Oh, that's not going to do nothing. Uh, a bout of flame burst out of him. Who is standing near him right now? Lenny, Iris, and Manny? All right, uh, I need... The Wickerman? Yes. Dolly is also up there. Okay, then. So all four of you, I need a dexterity roll. Oi. We're looking for a five. I'd Seven. like a re-roll, please. Use a re-roll, then. Two. Six. Crit. Fail. Oh. It's fine. I'll take it. Okay. Mm. Uh, what'd you get, Dahlia? Seven. Mika. Okay, so you're fine. Uh, Lenny and Iris, uh, school safety squad. School safety <laughs> squad should know that fire burns. Uh, you both take, uh, oh, <clears throat> lucky you. Uh, take four damage. Not looking good though. I am uh, a lot lower. Uh than everyone else. <laughs> well, Significantly less health than yeah. most people. True, <laughs> yeah. true. You do not really have a constitution. Uh, uh, uh. Yes. Uh, so next up, Lennox, uh, you did some work on it last time, turning yourself into a uh, water elemental. Um, mm -hmm. What are you going to do now? Well, as it's down and it's spreading its water or spreading its fire everywhere, I'm just going to basically, I guess, just a, a wave of water. Maybe it's easier to hit now that it's lying on the ground. Okay, go ahead and give me uh, intelligence plus range. Okay, let's do it. That's this one and this one. Minus two. Ooh, hopefully this other one was. That's probably not going to be great. That is a five. <laughs> I'm gonna use a reroll on that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I recommend the show's that. almost over, so yeah. And I don't get to keep them. All right, eight, eight hits. Go ahead and roll your damage. That is uh, intelligence and range plus two. Yes, uh, that would be thirteen. Oh, okay. Lenny, how do you kill it? Uh, I imagine uh, Lenny, like the water come like goes in sort of a cascading wave and then when it makes contact with the the creature it like shoots up in the air and then like comes raining down as the sprinkler system in the auditorium begins to also sprinkle and it just like starts like this thing just starts shriveling up and getting smaller and smaller and smaller like that like that talking fire from Howl's Moving Castle it 100% it's the talking fire from uh... it sounds like Billy Crystal but I'm pretty sure it wasn't I assume everyone's Billy Crystal until proven otherwise. Uh, Manny, you hear Ma'at in the back of your head go, we're going to save this sword for later. Okay. I think it's a good idea. I like it. Truth, I think it suits you. Truth is a sword. Uh, with that, um, outside the auditorium, as students have gathered around to see, well... Let's be honest. They want to see a building burn down. Uh, Xander gasps awake uh, as the key tumbles out of his chest. <sighs> what a nightmare. And the four of you have uh, defeated another one of the Phantom Queen's uh, monsters. 
Are you okay, Sander? Uh, I believe uh, there was a fire, and the uh, the 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 amount of carbon monoxide uh, uh, caused you to pass out. He looks up at you, Lenny, and he kind of, uh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Doesn't really make eye contact with you. Um, listen. Okay. Well, if you need help, uh, I said I'm fine. Iris, Iris and I are part of the school safety squad. She is the president. I've already gotten out one of those like inflatable blood pressure things, cuffs, and I'm like trying to put it on his arm. No, stop that. Get, stop. Would you like any orange slices? I don't have any, but I can, I can acquire them. No. Look, both stop are. resisting. You're in shock. I'm not in shock. Listen. You've been through a traumatic experience. Yeah, I did. I was having a three hour long argument with Christina and now my... Now my script is gone. My script has burst into flames. Did you do this? He turns to Christina and the argument begins anew, like it never ended. If you need, as they walk away, it's like, if you need any counseling, uh, the counselors are always willing to listen. Uh, they don't walk away. They're just having this argument right in front of you guys. They're just not listening to you. I think we handled it pretty well. Dahlia, <laughs> you know it can end this the flames of passion, the artistry, the craft. I'm taking a bunch of uh, inspiration from the fire that was on stage and it reminds me of one of my favorite theater productions, specifically one of the songs, Burn by Eliza. And it makes me think of the monologue at the end where Hamilton is just pouring his heart out to Burr on the other side. And I stand there, I go, I go off stage and I turn all the lights on except for one in the middle. And I go into the middle of the stage and I immediately just start yelling out. Legacy, what is a legacy? It's planting seeds in a garden you'll never get to see. I wrote some notes at the beginning of a song someone will sing for me. North Point Academy, you great unfinished symphony. You sent for me, you let me make a difference. A place where even second cast understudies can leave their fingerprints and rise up. I'm running out of time. I'm running and my time's up. Wise up. Eyes up. I catch a glimpse of the other side. Lenny leaves frat boys chorus on the other side. Manny and Iris are on the other side. Johnny, Johnny Depp's with my Oscar on the other side. The Phantom Queen is watching from the other side. Teach me how to do a final bow. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Eliza, my lead role, take your time. I'll see you on the other side. Raise a glass to freedom. Oh, <laughs> hi everyone. <laughs> everyone, the combat, the argument has stopped. Clap, clap. Wow. That was like hecka, hecka really good. You really think so, Lenny? I've been practicing oh, yeah. that every single night. Orvius told me it was really good, but I can't really trust him at this point. No, it no, was I... really tremendous. I I totally forgot that I'm going to die someday when you did that. Wow. <laughs> I gave that to you. I gave you a little bit of... I guess that's what theater is all about. I had the exact opposite reaction, whereas uh, my my inevitable death came at me, but showing me that, there, that I maybe am like spending time on things I shouldn't be because I have very limited time. Mm. Okay, Lenny. <laughs> it was very good and it rhymed. Thank you. Oh, I didn't even think about that. That's, that was like really, that's smart. I took some creative liberties with the lyrics to make it a little more personal because I feel like if you make it personal, it really relates to the audience a little more. I really like that musical. I think you'd play a fantastic Eliza. You think so? And I thought that your additions actually improved it. It made me feel like we could be involved in a story so epic and grand. Well, that's the thing, Iris. And I'm going to put my hand on Iris's shoulder. Oh. You already are. Your hand is heavy. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, You're just very frail. Yes. As you retract your hand, Xander and Christina are on you like white on rice. And they're like, 
that was amazing. That was really good. That was really good. Now we can't get the rights to Hamilton. It's far too expensive, especially uh, on a high school budget. But what would you, what did you feel like we should do? What, yes, yes. Honestly, and this is gonna come, it's coming from the heart. I really loved Once Upon a Mattress as a kid. I think that one, we can get the rights to that one. Once Upon a Mattress. Yeah. It's perfect. There's so many roles. It's perfect. And like that, five hours of argument is gone in a single monologue. And you have yet again saved North Point Academy and yet again defeated the Phantom Queen. Did, did I manage to maybe get a hold of the key before it disappeared? Oh, it didn't disappear. It just kind of clattered to the ground. You can absolutely I just pick like it up. I would like to take the key and tuck it in my pocket for later. You do that. Um, Yes, uh, the Skaven key kind of, uh, but that's kind of the only noise it makes. Oh. I think I, I'm confused here. Don't you have the Skaven key, the rat key? No. Oh, yes, I do. Okay. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> yeah. But I don't All think really I does is kiss. Oh, okay. I thought you had it on you. No, no, no. I'm babysitting it, but I don't think I have it with me. That's fair. Because uh, Manny has no interest in using it either. No, it's so. a horrible key. Don't do it. Well, it's um, also just not Manny. Very much so. <laughs> As you explain to the teachers what happened, and they, you know, fence off the auditorium and send you all back to your rooms. Um, Lenny, how do you end your night? Um... Lenny, like, he gets done with that. And he checks his, his his phone to see what time it is. And he thinks, oh, I'm supposed to be doing something properly. But then he doesn't have his, uh, his uh, day planner with him. So he just kind of, like, wanders around and, like, just wanders aimlessly until, he, until it's time for bed. Huh. What are you thinking about? Um... You know, it's it's kind of interesting to like not do things. It is. Iris, uh, what do you do? Um, Iris uh, goes into her room and um, like takes a look around and uh, starts pulling. Uh, the you know the um, board like the boards that she had put to cover the windows mm -hmm. she starts taking those off love that uh, Dahlia how about you Dahlia is going back to her room and immediately putting on the rest of the Hamilton production edited it with like all of her friends names in for Orpheus Dionysus and Persephone the Greek trio love it. They don't even have, they don't even give commentary for once. Wow. And Manny, what do you do? So when everybody left the auditorium, Manny made a big show of leaving too, but they didn't actually leave. They're in the auditorium alone with the music for tomorrow's dance and they just keep practicing over and over and over and over and over and they know they're not getting it right and they're really really frustrated with themselves so they're kind of like sob dancing but they're just trying so hard but they're like i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get this right I'm i want you to right. give me a dexterity roll plus five. Okay. Oh my sir beast 1269 thank you very much for the tip I rolled a two. So that's a seven. And it takes like three or four times. It takes a while. And it's not as smooth as you'd like. It's not as perfect as you want it. But after a while, you do it. And it's pretty good.
One more time. Okay. <laughs> um, and thanks to Sir Beast, uh, Iris, there's a knock at your door as you have a view of the school campus that it's actually really pretty at night. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm going to, I'll, uh, 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 Iris's room. It's me. It's Nanako. Oh, I'm going to undo my seven locks. Um, you open it up and it's Nanako and she's there with, uh, Sandra, uh, sorry, wrong name. I have so many names in this game. Uh, she's standing there with Xander. He's, uh, kind of grumpy looking and, uh, I found him and, uh, she elbows him a little and he, So I heard your club's looking for members. And her window's like. <laughs> Dogs begin barking outside. Uh, you're, you're in. I, I mean, you'll have to fill out the paperwork, but you're in. Yeah, no, no, I know. I talked to, uh, you know, Griffin of Falcon Hollow. He uh, is on the school, you know treasury board or whatever i talked to him and i yeah no do the paperwork wow we went from being an unofficial group to now we can be a real club i never thought anyone else would care about safety like i do well we got a club ramirez <laughs> and it doesn't have black mold <laughs> and as that comes to a close and you feel happy, Iris, and Manny, you've got the dance down and Dahlia, your performance is great. And Lenny, you do nothing and it's awesome. Someone in their dorm room is playing with a key they found several weeks ago. And that is where we are going to end this session of New Pantheon Academia, and also where we are going to close out 2020. Oh my goshy. Yeah. Um, guys, everyone in the audience, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your tips. Thank you for your subscribe sub subscriptions. Thank you just for talking about us on Twitter. Um, we know this year has sucked. I don't think any of us are going to deny that. But we hope we can give you something that make it suck a little less. And you being here makes it suck a lot less for us. Uh, I want to thank my table. I want to thank Eric, Aki, Kelly, Mika. Thank you all so much. It's been an amazing begin getting to our campaign. And special thanks to Dom behind the scenes uh, for making it possible. Uh, we'll, do our we'll do our usual plugs. I'll do saving throws last. But let's go ahead and throw it over to Mika. Where can they find you? Hi, you can find me on any social media site at R.I.P. Mika. Uh, I stream basically every day and, uh, oh wow, I don't have any commitments for the next two weeks. So yeah, I, I just stream every day. <laughs> nice. Uh, Kelly. Um, you can find me on everything. I'm Kelly Nugent. You can find me on everything at uh, Kelly Nugent, K-E-L-L-Y-N-U-G-E-E. -E -E. That's on Twitch and social media and stuff. Um, and check out my podcasts, Teen Creeps, uh, where we talk about YA pulp fiction from the 80s and 90s. And uh, Same Day Shipping, where we ship everybody with everybody all across all media. It's the horniest podcast on the internet. Uh, who did I need to talk to to get an invite on that podcast? Because that sounds <laughs> very fun. <laughs> it's so fun. It's so fun. Uh, the amazing Aki. Hi, everybody. I'm Aki, and you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Mixed Genie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. And uh, I do lots of stuff all over the internet. Uh, if you want to watch me and the other things I do on Twitch, you can check out my full Twitch schedule over on my personal Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash Shidari Aki. That's S H I D A R E A K I. Awesome. And Eric, where can they find you? 
Uh, well, they can always catch me uh, here uh, this Tuesday uh, for Tales of Salt Bay. We are uh, our, our good pal Terry Gamble is running us through a session of Monster Hearts, which is a very, oh. a very fun system My to play game. as. Yeah, we're doing that here on Saving Throw Show Tuesday at, uh, at possibly uh, at 7 p.m., I think. PST. Uh, and besides that, you can always catch me, mostly Eric, on all the things, including Twitch, where I stream video games. Nice. Uh, my name's Stephen Pope. You can find me online at Stephen J. Pope 22. I'm currently in Twitter jail for telling a turf to like a car battery. I do it again in a heartbeat. Um, but make sure you follow us here at Saving Throw Show. Like Eric said, we have amazing content here we just wrapped a very interesting uh victorian romance game where they wanted such but they couldn't because romance um tales of salt bay continues to be an amazing thing we also have dice ex machina ran by riley who is a goddess among men she is the best go watch that it's hilarious uh we also have wild cards available on vod and podcast form in fact you can check this out as a podcast that's right. We're a podcast too. We're all over the place. It's fantastic. Um, make sure you follow us for more content here on Saving Throw and check us out on YouTube and Twitter, Instagram, all over the place at Saving Throw Show. Um, once again, thank you, Dom, for making this all possible. And thank you all for your tips. You keep the show alive and that is appreciated. It's the end of the year. It's been a weird year. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. And have... We'll have a holidays. great 2021. Happy holidays. Hmm? Happy holidays. Yes, Happy it's holidays. Hanukkah right now. I needed to do that. Merry Chrysler. <laughs> Merry <laughs> crisis <laughs> indeed. <laughs> All right. Happy Hanukkah, Stephen. Thank you. And we will see you guys next year. Bye.